Okay, guys, what is the best striking art? What is the best number one striking art in the game? Well, in my opinion, if we're talking about street fighting, okay, if we're talking about street fighting, fighting in the street, which you should never do unless you're defending yourself or someone else in need, you should never street fight. Okay, coach doesn't advocate for street fighting. But the number one striking art, if I had to choose one, I would pick Muay Thai. Why would I pick Muay Thai? Because Muay Thai, there's clinching involved. Of course, there's knees, elbows, punches, and kicks. You know, the eight limbs. And uh, there's every distance. So you have kicks, long distance, punches, medium distance, knees, short distance. And up close and personal, you got the elbows. So for me, in my opinion, if I was in a street battle, I would pick Muay Thai 100%. The problem with the other arts is they all lack some range. Like for instance, let's say you were to pick karate. Karate is a great art. I'm also a black belt in karate. The problem with karate, there's no up close and personal trench fighting. Like if you get really close to me, generally speaking, karate doesn't spend a lot of time training the close combative part. There's no real clinching in karate. Okay, very little. There's very little trips and throws and very little elbow use, very little knee use. So if somebody grabs onto you, you're up close, you're in a fight, you're in a very narrow place. There's not a lot of room to move around. Karate is a bit difficult. Karate is fantastic when you have a lot of space. That's why you see a karate more is more effective in the octagon than it is in the ring. In my opinion, if you have a Muay Thai guy and a karate guy and they're fighting in the ring, the Muay Thai fighter has a great advantage. The corners and generally rings are much smaller than the octagon. However, when you put the same two fighters in an octagon, now the karate guy, he can start to work. The sidekick is going to work more. The, the, the kicking style, having the hands down and really having a wide stance. That makes, I have a lot of room now. If you try to kick my leg, I can move back. I can punch you on the way, on your way in when you're coming forward to punch, to, to attack me. I could step back and punch, which is the heart of uh, karate is the footwork. The distance management, keeping the fighter at a distance. Generally speaking, you want to hit him with your leg, not not use your hand as much, because when you use your hand, you gotta get closer to him. And you're the closer you get to him, the more in danger you are.